Filipino martial arts FMA, Filipino, signing Panlaban ng Pilipinas refer to ancient Indianized and newer fighting methods devised in the Philippines. It incorporates elements from both Western and Eastern martial arts, the most popular forms of which are known as Arnas, Eskrima and Kali. The intrinsic need for self-preservation was the genesis of these systems. Throughout the ages, invaders and evolving local conflict imposed new dynamics for combat in the islands now making up the Philippines. The Filipino people developed battle skills as a direct result of an appreciation of their ever-changing circumstances. They learned often out of necessity how to prioritize, allocate and use common resources in combative situations. Filipinos have been heavily influenced by a phenomenon of cultural and linguistic mixture. Some of the specific mechanisms responsible for cultural and martial change extended from phenomena such as war, political and social systems, technology, trade and practicality. Filipino martial arts have seen an increase in prominence due to several Hollywood movies and the teachings of modern masters such as Venancio, Ainshing, Bacon, Dan Inosanto, Kakoy Canet, Danny Guba, Mike Ane, Remy Presses, Wilson Pangan Sr., Grand Master, Ernesto Presses, Doug Marqueda and Carlito A. Linata Sr. History Today there are said to be almost as many Filipino fighting styles as there are islands in the Philippines. In 1972, the Philippine government included Filipino martial arts into the national sports arena. The Ministry of Education, Culture and Sports also incorporated them into the physical education curriculum for high school and college students. In recent history, Richardson C. Giologo and Aniano Loda Jr. helped the Department of Education, DEPT, former Ministry of Education, Culture and Sports, in the promotion of ARNAS in the public schools. The Task Force on School Sports TFSS, headed by Mr. Feliciano Toledo asked Richard Giologo and John Loda to conduct national, regional and provincial seminar workshops all over the Philippines under the auspices of the Philippine government. This resulted to the inclusion of Arnis in the Palarong Pambansa National Games in 2006. The efforts of the two and Senator Miguel Zabiri resulted in Arnas being declared as the national martial art and sport of the Philippines by virtue of Republic Act 9850 which was signed into law in 2009. Knowledge of the Filipino fighting skills is mandatory in the Philippine military and police. Filipino martial arts are considered the most advanced practical modern blade system in the world and are now a core component of the U.S. Army's Modern Army Combatives Program and used by the Russian Spetsnaz Special Forces. The Government of India used Filipino martial arts to train their para Indian Special Forces of Indian Army, National Security Guard, Marcos of Indian Navy and Commandos of Central Armed Police Forces. Weapons Filipino martial artists are noted for their ability to fight with weapons or empty hands interchangeably and their ability to turn ordinary household items into lethal weapons. Weapons training takes precedence because they give an edge in real fights, gears students to psychologically face armed opponents, and any object that can be picked up can be used as a weapon using FMA techniques. Empty hands training is then taught as the stick is merely an extension of the hand. Another thing to note is that the Philippines is a blade culture. The southern Philippines with the Moros were never really conquered by the Spaniards or the Americans, nor the northern mountains of Luzon with their feared headhunter tribes so they kept their weapons and their fighting skills. For the more Christianized provinces and the towns where citizens had been disarmed, bolos, a cutting tool similar to the machete, and other knife variants are still commonly used for general work, farming in the provinces, chopping wood, coconuts, controlling talaheb, sword grass, which could grow higher than roofs if not cut, etc., and the occasional bloody fight. Production of these weapons still survives and there are a few who still make some. In the province of Aklan, talabongs are still being made in the remote areas. Until the 80s, balisong knives were still commonly used in the streets of Manila as general-purpose pocket knives much like Swiss Army knives or box cutters until new laws on allowable kinds of knives made it illegal to carry them in public without a permit or proof that it was a vital to one's livelihood e.g. martial arts instructor, vendor. They're still openly sold in their birthplace of Batangas, in the streets of Quiapo, souvenir shops and martial arts stores, wielded by practitioners and street gangs. 
Thus, even when fighting systems were outlawed by the Spaniards, Filipinos still maintained their centuries-old relationships with blades and blade fighting techniques that survive from ancient times and are still much alive as they have been adapted and evolved to stay relevant and practical in colonial and modern times. What separates Filipino martial arts from other weapon-based martial arts like Japanese kendo and kenjutsu, European fencing and traditional Chinese martial arts that teach the usage of classical Chinese weapons is that FMA teaches weapon use that is practical today, how to use and deal with weapons that one can actually encounter in the streets and how to turn ordinary items into improvised weapons. No one walks around with sabers, katanas or jians anymore, but knives, machetes and clubs are still among commonly encountered weapons on the street and in the field, thus making FMA very practical and geared towards military and street fighting. Traditional weaponry varies in design, size, weight, materials, and the way these weapons are used. But because of similar techniques Filipinos can use any object and turned into a weapon by a Filipino martial artist as a force multiplier. Unarmed mano mano, lit hand to hand, incorporates punches, kicks, elbows, knees, headbutts, finger strikes, locks, blocks, grappling and disarming techniques. Suntukan, also known as Pangamot in the Visayas and Panantukan, in the USA, general term for hand based and punching techniques. Sikaran, kicking techniques, also a kick based separate art practiced in Rizal Province Dumag, Filipino style of grappling. Practiced in antique in Panay. Uno, Filipino style of wrestling. Bultong, Bultong, native fighting arts with wrestling and slapping from the Igorot people of northern Luzon Yayan or Seya ng Kamadian, dance of death, Yayan closely resembles Muay Thai, but differs in the hip, torquing motion as well as the downward cutting nature of its kicks, and the emphasis on delivering attacks from long range, while Muay Thai focuses more on clinching. The forearm strikes, elbows, punches, dominating palms, and hand movements are empty hand translations of the bladed weapons. There are 12 bolo punches, which were patterned from Arnis. Impact baston, alisi, short sticks, traditionally crafted from rattan or kamagong bangka, tongat, staff, rod or pole dulo dulo, palm stick tamang, shield improvised weapons, pens, keychains, keys, push knife grip, umbrellas, rolled up newspapers, magazines, walking sticks, etc. Edged daga, cuchillo, Spanish for dagger or knife. Traditional varieties include the gunong, punyal and barong or barong, balisong, foldable butterfly knife, karambit, small blade shaped like a tiger claw, espada, Spanish for sword. Includes kampilan, jinunting, pinuti and talabong, itak, bolo used by Tagalog people, Callus, poison bladed dagger, also known as crisp. Golik, machete or broadsword used by tribes, people. Sibat, spear. Sundang, single edged, thick short sword. Lagara, single edged, flexible long sword with a bent tip. Flexible. Latigo, whip. Buntot Paggy, Stingray Tail, Lubid, Rope, Sarong, Kadena Tanakala, Chain, Tabak Toyak, two sticks attached together by rope or chain, similar to Nunchaku, but with shorter sticks and a longer chain, Improvised, Belt, Bandana, Handkerchief, Shirt, Towel, Projectile Panna, bow and arrow Sibat, spear Sumpit, blowpipe Bagake, darts Tirador, pintic, saltic, slingshot Kana, as in Indian Panna Kakana Kana Kakana Inkita, darts propelled by slingshots used by street gangsters Lantaka, kerosene propelled bamboo cannon Luthang, gas-powered mini bamboo cannon. Training Signs and symbols The triangle is one of the strongest geometrical structures and stands for strength. Many training halls incorporate the triangle into their logo. It represents numerous underlying philosophical, theoretical and metaphysical principles in the Filipino martial arts. 
Applications of the triangle are found in defensive and offensive tactical strategies, including footwork, stances, blocking and disarms. During training, non-verbal gesture communication and recognition is used in teaching and identification. This sign language, utilizing hand, body and weapon signals, is used to convey ideas, desires, information, or commands. Basic tactical ranges the three combat ranges in the Filipino martial arts are corto, close range, medio, medium range, and largo, long range. Hakbang, general term for footwork. Corto mano, close range, short movements, minimal extension of arms, legs and weapons, cutting distance. Serrata, split step, short range footwork, quick, split action, front and back low stance. Serrata footwork is the base of a triangular framework methodology. Largo mano, long range, extended movements, full extension of arms, legs and weapons, creating distance. Fraile, short range footwork, hopping action, balanced position, short hop, pushing off from the lead foot. Ritriata, short range footwork, shuffling action, pushing backward by pushing off the lead foot, giving 6 to 8 inches of range per action. Banda y Banda, side to side action. Basic tactical methods Filipino martial arts contain a wide range of tactical concepts, both armed and unarmed. Each art includes several of the methods listed below. Some of these concepts have been taken in isolation to serve as the foundation for entire fighting systems in themselves. Solo Baston, single stick. Doble baston, double stick. Batty batty, butt of stick methods. Dulo dulo, dulo y dulo, palm stick methods. Bante kame, tapi tapi. Guardian hand. Or. Alive hand. Auxiliary weapon used in conjunction with the primary weapon for checking, blocking, monitoring, trapping, locking, disarming, striking, cutting, etc. Examples include the empty hand when using a single stick or the dagger when fighting with sword and dagger Mano Mano, Suntukan, Pangamot, De Kadena, Kadena de Mano, Panantukan, Empty Hands Suntukan, Panantukan, Dirty Boxing, Empty Hand Striking, usually with closed fist, with elbows, headbutts and low kicks Kinamote, a subsection of Pangamot that specializes in biting and eye gouges Bara, knife and dagger. Mono y daga, hand and dagger. Baston y daga, stick and dagger. Daga y daga, pair of daggers. Espada y daga, sword and dagger. Latigo y daga, whip and dagger. Tapin tapin, hand thrown knives and weapons tactics numerado, striking and blocking by the numbers, refers to the most basic strikes and angles. Cinco teros, five strikes, refers to the five most basic strikes and counters. Deblete, two weapon blocking and countering method of doubles. Sinawali. Weaving. Rhythmic, flowing, striking patterns and tactics, utilizing two impact or edged weapons. Redonda, circular double stick vertical downward pattern of six strikes. Ocho Ocho, repeating pattern, strikes and tactics, such as the figure eight. This also refers to a dance move. Polys Polys, meeting force with force. Abanico, fanning techniques. Widdick, whipping, snapping back or picking movements. Loptic, follow through strikes, horizontal, vertical, diagonal methods, crossada, cross blocking methods, hands and weapons, gunting, scissors, armed and unarmed scissoring techniques aimed at disabling an opponent's arm or hand, block and block dynamic countering, attacks based on the striking and blocking methods of the system. Free flow, live interaction and play, flowing practice, rapid, rhythmic, weapons tactics. 
Cadena de mano, chain of hands, close quarters, continuous, empty-handed combat, Hubud Lubud, to tie and untie, continuous trapping methods Trancada, joint locking and breaking techniques Panganov, disarming techniques Panajakman, SIPA, padded or seeked, low kicks, heel impact point Dumog, wrestling or grappling methods with an emphasis on disabling or controlling the opponent by manipulation of the head and neck this also refers directly to a wrestling competition on muddy ground, other traditional or common sense techniques. Balatok, acrobatic flip or back flip to evade attacks. This can also be used in combination of kicking to hit opponents. Bikal, sapiti or sapit, hitting an opponent's center of gravity to cause imbalance. Bunal, bangag or puspos, downward striking with a blunt weapon. Bungo sa kanding, a goatee sported by men to supposedly intimidate or distract an opponent. Bustak, throwing an opponent down to the ground. Dunga, duslik or luba, stealthy stabbing stroke. Dusmo, to push an opponent's face to the ground. Hopik or sumbag, pack punch aimed to take down an opponent. Hata, fake movement intended to open up opponent's defensive stance. Koras or cameras, scratching attack to sensitive parts such as the eyes. Kuad or kumo, stealthy grabbing and grappling of body parts such as hair. Kulata, combo punches to disable or overwhelm an opponent. Laparo or tamperos, slapping using the lower part of the palm. Lihe, evading attacks. Lavag, twisting of joints to unnatural position to disable a physically stronger opponent. This includes a lethal twisting and snapping of the neck. Luglog, in the Ware language this is to slit the throat. Paak, biting. Pakug, headbutting. Sablig, throwing natural eye irritants such as sand to the unwary opponent. Sagong, blocking of striking attacks. Tigbas, slashing and cutting stroke. 2 OK, strangling or locking the neck. Esoteric practices A gimet, an escrimador's amulet worn to protect against misfortune and increase the chance of victory. Also known as havoc or anting anting. It was superstitiously believed that Manny Pacquiao possessed one. Alvulario, a shaman who carries out the initiation ceremony and treats injuries. Halat, a traditional system of herbalism, massage and first aid that was traditionally taught alongside martial arts. Kulam or Barang, witchcraft are spell rituals carried out by witch doctors. Also known as Barang in Visayas. Oracion, special prayers, incantations or mantra that may be recited before battle as a protective armor. This is also used for driving out or summoning spiritual entities. This is usually written in Latin language. See also Arnis, Escrima, Kali Suntukan Kinamote Sikaran Eskrima in popular culture Maharlika Timawad Juramentado Philippine Army Armed Forces of the Philippines Silat Kuntao Ya Yan Kalaripiatu References External links FMA Informative – Propagating the Filipino Martial Arts and the Culture of the Philippines Filipino Martial Arts at Curly The FMA Escrima – Cali FAQ FMA Talk Live – Podcast dedicated to the promotion of Filipino martial arts